Okay, so let's let the primary waves have the subscript 1 and the secondary waves have the subscript 2. Well, the difference in arrival time is 17.3 seconds. So T2 minus T1 is equal to 17.3 seconds. The velocity of the primary waves, they're the faster ones, is equal to 7.80 times 10 to the 3 meters per second. And the velocity of the secondary waves is equal to 4.5 times 10 to the 3 meters per second. Now we know that the distance between the seismologist station and the epicenter of the earthquake is fixed. So the distance is equal to V1T1 and it's also equal to V2T2. So what we can do now is substitute in from this equation. So let's call this 1, 2, sub 1 into 2. And we have V1T1 is equal to V2 and T2 is now 17.3 plus T1. Now substituting in our values, we've got 7.80 times 10 to the 3 T1 is equal to 4.5 times 10 to the 3 17.3 plus T1. Let's cancel out our 10 to the 3s. And now we can rearrange this to find T1. We've got 7.80 minus 4.50 T1. Just moving this term over to this side is equal to 4.5 times 17.3. So T1 is equal to 23.59 seconds. Now we're asked to find the distance d. The distance is given by v1 t1, so that is equal to 7.80 times 10 to the 3 times 23.59, which is equal to 1.84 times 10 to the 5 meters, or we could write this as 184 kilometers. So we've solved that one.